Hey there, this is Sohini from Double Lab, and in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to create a Firebase real time database um, that can be used in a third party application, which could be a web app, an Android project, a iOS project, or anything. So, our primary focus for today in this tutorial would be to learn how you can create a real time database and what could be the features. Um, that you could integrate in it in your database how this entire thing works out and letters in the next tutorial we're gonna learn how you can um, integrate this into an Alexa skill and then use that Alexa skill to input data to your Firebase real-time database so that's what our goal would be so to begin, let's um, first navigate to this website, firebase.google.com. And then you can see that you can just uh, go ahead and scroll down the page to take a look. So basically, um, as per my understanding, um, the Google Firebase has got two types of databases. One is the um, cloud Firestore and the other is the Firebase real-time database but both of them are NoSQL databases and both of them are cloud-based and also both of them are real-time. So when I mean real-time, I mean say the data gets updated in every second. If I just pass an input to the database, let's say I'm, I'm just passing a value, so it's going to update for real. So I'm going to give you a demo of that, how that happens. But let's first learn how to create a structure for our database. And let's first learn how you can actually create this database. So I think um, then you can go down and check all the extensions that is offered and that Firebase supports. And these are the integrations. These are the apps that have already integrated Firebase um, from before. Then you have a bit more of it. So you can always keep track. Go ahead and take a look at this website. Then we can, so, so I think now it's time to get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is navigate to this website and log in with our Google account. And then we're going to hit on go to console. Here we have create a project button to get started. And as you see that these projects are basically containers for our applications like this Android app or an iOS app or a web application. So, so, so yeah, today we're going to, we're going to use this database in an Alexa skill. So now let's get started. So we're going to click on create a project and I would create a project named this mood list. So I feel that our mood is the most frequently changing attribute that we have in ourselves. And I think that's one of the common things most of us carry with us. So since this gets updated every moment or every second or every day, so we'll pick this as an example. So what this database would contain is your moods um, with the date and the time for that particular mood. So how are we going to do that? So first we, I would just name the project as mood list. Um, and then I would just head and continue. I would enable Google Analytics. Um, this would help me track all of these and this would help me know about the usage, which is very important because there's a limit. If, if the usage will be more than that, then you would need to pay for it. So then I'm going to hit on continue. I would select this account, the basic one, and I would create this project. So now at this point of time, I want to make something very clear. So this is not the database. So this mood list is the name of your project, but this can contain multiple databases. So th like there could be multiple real time databases or there could be multiple cloud fire stores or there could be both in multiple numbers. So this is just the project. This has got no relation to their database. So, but for now we're going to use this project to just create a real-time database, just one real-time database. That's what we're going to do. So be clear on what a project is and what a database is and what an app is. So now we're going to go ahead and continue. 
and this is your dashboard. So now you can see the first thing that it tells us is to do an integration with your application. So our integration would be with the web app. So we're going to hit on this and check this later in the next tutorial. But for now, let's take a look how this gets created. So here we have options in the build. You can see Cloud Firestar or just real-time database. Then you've got authentication, storage, hosting, functions, machine learning. So we're going to look at this and this for this. So we'll hit on real-time database and we will create our first database. So now we hit on create database and this would be United States. If you're part of Belgium, Europe West, then you can hit on this and then we do next. So these are the security rules. It's false by default, but we're going to turn it to true so that we can write the database through a third party application, which could be the app that we'd be creating to input data to our database. So for, for our case, it would be the Alexa skill. So we'd be using Alexa to an Alexa skill to pass all this information to our database. So, so we change both read and write to true, but not now. So now we'll just enable it. And I think this would take a second. Yes, and that's it. It's done. So now this is the name of our project and this is our first database. So this is hosted in this, um, this link. This would be useful um, later when we'll integrate this. So now we're going to create a key, which should be moods. And inside of this, I would put a mood, let's say, not an angry, I'm happy. Um, and inside of happy, I would have two more keys, which should have some value. So I am happy at time. What's the, what's the time now? It's, um, it's 17. 55 and have another key which is the date which is 19 to 21 that's it so this would be the structure so this is the structure that i am using um that the structures can be different um so that's how it's going to be so um for, for our Alexa skill we use this as a structure so every time like what we're going to so this is an application that we're building basically so our alexa app would be designed or we would design it in such a manner that every time we invoke the skill to just say add this mood to my database so when i say add angry there's going to be another um what's this key in here the inside of moods so that's going to be angry and that would contain the specific date and time which would be automated with respect to that particular type like yeah that, that would just be wait, that's just part of the syntax that we're going to be using in our code so that way this this database is going to get updated and i will show you in real time how within a fraction of seconds our inputs will be picked up by the real-time database in here so all these inputs will be popping in and you'd be able to see it in here so for that you gotta stay tuned because we're gonna do that in the next tutorial so that's it this would be the structure you can always create your structure in your own manner you can change it and do stuff then here you have some more options like if you want to see how this JSON looks like, you can export the JSON, you can take a look at the legend, so it's going to be just segregating all of these parts. You can also create a new database and you can use that somewhere else. Um, um, yeah, and then here to integrate this with your Alexa skill, the first thing that we're going to do is turn these both read and write functionalities to true. So that's something that we're going to do true and we're gonna turn right to true as well so then you publish this um i guess yeah so this is the part of backup if you want to back up everything that you're doing for this then you gotta upgrade your plan and this is the usage so in here you'd be able to see so right now the graph i mean the sheet is clean so once you start using this database in another application um, to send an inputs to your database then slowly and gradually this there's going to be a graph that's going to be picking up 
and you'd be able to just monitor it time to time and if it increases their normal storage plan or something like that there is a bar then it's gonna cost you some of it so you gotta be very careful so this is just um, so you can just see the usage and billing and you'll get to know what that is so yeah so i think uh, i just wanted to discuss briefly about this for this tutorial so if you really like this tutorial do not forget to hit a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to share this um and if you have any questions you can ask them on the chats and the comments below and i will see you next on the next tutorial and on that we'll be integrating this particular real-time database in our alexa skill to to use that as a way of taking in inputs and passing that to our real-time database so so yeah till then have fun and i will see you soon goodbye